Okay, first thing we're going to start off with is I've got about a cup, a little over a cup of um, Bisquick mix in here. Um, it just makes it a little easier that you don't have to mix your flour and stuff by yourself. Um, then we're going to have a one pound of sausage um, thawed, and I'm somewhat at room temperature. Put that in. And then we're going to add in, um, you'd be surprised, but this is 8 ounces of cheese that has been shredded. So I'm going to put all that in too. So we've got the like, Bisquick, the sausage, and the bread. And now we're just going to mix it by hand, um, just to mix it all up. Um, you know, just kind of grab and squeeze just to mix it in. Um, you can add more Bisquick if you think you need it. And you know, if you want them a little bit drier. Um, or more cheese if you want, but usually eight ounces to a pound of sausage is really is a good mix there. So anyway, we'll be back when we get this all mixed up. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's all mixed up. Um, you don't see any more flour, and all the cheese is mixed up in there. It just looks like brown with brown goop with orange in it a little bit because you can see the cheese. So now we're going to um, pull sausage and wrap it into balls at about the size of a walnut or smaller, maybe a little bit smaller than that. And then you um, just put them on a pan and you bake them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes so we get that oven preheating and that's perfect Lorena very good so I'll get a pan and we'll put them in the oven and show you what you, they look like once they're baked okay so here we go this is the these are the sausage balls after they've baked for 15 minutes at 350 degrees um, they are um, kind of soft, so we're going to let them sit on the pan um, for a couple minutes, but um, this is it. They look delicious, smell wonderful. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you all try it and let me know what you think, and um, we'll see you next time.